What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel. So today kind of marks a remarkable day, sort of say, because I don't really know if there's any other tutorials, not anything that I've seen out of my entire search of how to do this process, because this is probably the most frequently asked question in the PBR server, and in general, people want to play this game online and they do not have the Wii. So today is going to solve all of that curiosity and questioning, because today, by the end of this video, you should be able to play Pokemon Battle Revolution online with the Dolphin emulator and I'm going to teach you how to do that. Stay tuned. I'm going to walk you through all the steps, step by step, and I'm going to go as slow as possible for you to understand as easy as possible. But to begin, all you need to do is look at the description box and make sure that you have downloaded the latest version of Dolphin. You can go to the Dolphin website by typing in the Dolphin emulator on Google and then you can go ahead and download the latest version of the Dolphin emulator. Okay, good. You have the Dolphin emulator right now. You have the latest version. Very good. So now in the description box again, there is a Google Drive link that will lead you to the essentials folder. I put together a folder of all the tools that you will need for you to patch your emulator and to patch the game itself so that you can play online. I'm going to go over them really quick. You have the save file. The save file is very important. The unbanner, the patcher, and the VBA.ini. All right, these things are super duper important. It's in the description box down below. Go to the Google Drive link and download that. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to unban your emulator so that you can go online. So follow this tutorial, this step right here very carefully. So I want you to double click and open the unbanner. At this time, you should be able to see a window that popped up. It's like a black background with text everywhere. That's great. That's what you need to see. After that, I need you to open up your file explorer. Go to your documents tab because in your documents tab, this is where you're going to see the dolphin emulator folder. This folder is very important because this is what you need to click and drag into the unbanner window text thingy and then you're gonna see it say oh you know we found a folder blah 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 click enter all right this is the folder that you need to drag into that box all right and after that it's going to close that is it's supposed to do that if it closes on its own after you click enter after dragging it in you did it right so that means your emulator is unbanned it is ready to go for online play but we need to get your game unbanned. All right, so speaking of the game, I cannot for legal reasons give you the game on my hand. You're gonna have to do some searching because I, I literally cannot, okay? Um, but you're gonna have to do some searching for it and if you do, come back. Now, if you do have the game already, the ISO file, okay? This is where we're going to patch the game itself so that you can go online with it in the emulator, okay? If that makes sense. Now, this, t this step is pretty simple, but try, try to follow along. Now, in the Essentials folder, you're going to see the WMV Patcher. Open it up, and then open it up again. I want you to drag your game inside this folder. I want to see the PBR Battle Revolution game in the same exact folder where you just dragged it. It's going to be very, very important. Okay? Now, when you have done that, I want you to double-click and open Patch Images. Alright, Patch Images. Not the 32 that's on the bottom, but the one at the top. Patch Images. Open it up. Now, the, it should detect the Battle Revolution game that's inside the folder already. And that way, it's going to load up a progress bar, like a percentage thing. And it's going to be like, oh, patching, blah, 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 blah. But if, it's going to patch it. All right, just give it some time. And as soon as it finishes, you're going to click enter and it's going to close. Now, you're going to see a WMV images folder. If you click on that folder, you're going to see another copy of Battle Revolution. That's right because this is the patched version that you're going to open up and load up into the emulator of Dolphin, all right? That's your patched game right there. Pretty easy, huh? All right, fellas, we are almost done here. The PBR save file. Just to give you some background information about this save file, it has access to the storage stuff inside the game because typically you need a Nintendo DS, right? So this was a already pre-made save file that has access to the boxes so that you can either gen in Pokemon or do whatever. I'll get to that later on in the video though. However, because you have access to the boxes, you have access to using whatever Pokemon you want and you have access to going online with that save file. It's very good. So 
This step, very, very, very important, all right? I want you to go and copy the PBR save file. Right click and copy. Go to the documents tab from earlier and where you saw the dolphin emulator folder, I need you to double click that. Okay, we're gonna go through some. We're gonna go through some files and access where the save data is. Okay, so just follow me. I'm, I want you to click on we title 0010000 and then the 52504245 that folder. I want you to click on data, and then I want you to click on Genius PBR. This is the location that PBR saved its game to. I want you to right click and paste the PBR save file in that folder. And that's it. Close out of it. You are done. You are set and ready to go. So at this time, open up the emulator and then load up the patched version of Pokemon Battle Revolution that's inside the WMV images folder. Okay, we're going to take a look at the save files that are already on the game just so that I know that you know it works. Okay, now you should see four different names. And the one that I chose is just a preference. I chose the Sonic file, okay? As soon as I clicked on the Sonic file and I clicked continue and everything, I went ahead and went to the Wi-Fi options and went on online, all right? And then I took a look and then boom, it works. You are successfully online with the save file with an unbanned version of your emulator and you have patched your game. So this is, if you, if you see this menu right now, you are set and ready to go. Now, if you take a look at your Pokemon storage box, you should be able to see access to it. Now, holy moly, there's a crap load of Pokemon in there already. That's okay, because if you want your own Pokemon, this is where I can teach you how to gen in the Pokemon and use whatever the heck you want. Let's say you don't see this or something, you get an error for whatever reason and you just don't see it at all. Play the game normally, make a save file, save the game, and then go back to the previous step and then delete whatever whatever's inside the genius pbr folder and then paste in the new one and then you should be set and ready to go okay all right so let me teach you how to make your own pokemon the final step of this video pk hex in the description box down below there is a link that will take you to the pk hex website download the latest version okay you're gonna open up pk hex and then you're gonna take the save file remember where we put it in the genius pbr file yeah, we're going to take that. We're going to click it and then drag it into the PK Hex program. Now, you should see all the Pokemon that you saw in that, you know, in the save file that you chose. However, click on the save tab, I believe, and make sure you change the profile to the profile that you want to use. So, for example, I used Sonic, so I'm going to go ahead and change it to Sonic. And because I've already made the changes, you should see uh, any changes that you have made to any profile that you've uh, you know that you've edited from the past but we're gonna teach you how to like make some stuff so you can go to pokemon showdown and you can copy it onto your clipboard and make a set uh I'll, I'll, i'm gonna show you pictures and everything and how i'm doing this but you just essentially create the pokemon that you want in pokemon showdown you click import slash export right click and then you go into the pk hex program in itself and then you're going to import it with whatever is on the clipboard and then boom you have the pokemon just right click and paste it's in your game okay now let's say you made your pokemon you have everything that you want congratulations that's great um one thing i do want to make note of is that you need to have legal stats otherwise you cannot use the pokemon online the leg the legality check sort of say in pbr is very lenient you can legit run a Dragonite with a uh, Hydro Pump if you want, and the game won't care. But listen, run legal moves for the sake of playing online, but you're going to have to have legal stats. At least it checks your stats. But yeah, file, save, main, and then overwrite the previous save file that you have on there already. And then boom, all you need to do is load up the game, go to the profile that you edited, and then look in your Pokemon storage, voila, it's right there. You have your changes that you have made edited onto the save file and you have Pokemon that you want onto your game. And that's pretty much it. 
All you gotta do is look for people to battle at this point, and that's where the PBR server plug comes into play. So in the description box down below, there is a Pokemon Battle Evolution Discord server. Sem submit your friend code, add other people onto the friend codes or whatever, and you can go ahead and battle it out with other people online and have a blast, alright? This is the end of the tutorial. I really do hope this helped you out. If it did, leave a like so that other people can see. And hopefully we get to see more of you beautiful people in the server battling other people within the community itself. But other than that, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And until then, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the YouTube channel. And check out maybe any other, other videos that you may see on your screen right now. And yeah, I'm out of here. Peace out, y'all. Catch you guys in the next one.